What's up everyone, Edwin here for NE Fishing and we're coming back to you with another fillet and release video uh, and in this episode we're going to focus on the ever fabled blackfish or tog or totog um, depending on where you're um, where you're fishing up here in the northeast uh, although this fish can be found down into the uh, Carolinas. Um, this is got three beautiful specimens of blackfish right here. Um, this first one right here, the small one, is just at keeper size at 15 inches. The second one here is a beautiful one at 16. And then uh, this nice prized one here is at 18 inches. Nice, big, beautiful, large blackfish right there uh, at about five pounds or so. So um, I wish I could say I caught these, but uh, I did not. Uh, my buddy went out and um, he, uh, he wanted to uh, uh, you know meet the goal of catching uh, his personal best which is actually this one I mean he just started fishing for blackfish and he's already off to a great start I've never caught one that big so um, you know congrats to him so he brought them over to me so I can fillet them out so that's what we're gonna do uh, blackfish are very popular up here in the Northeast um, they their favorite uh, fish for uh, a lot of the fall fishermen since that's the time to focus in on them um, and uh, fishing's been pretty good um, these fish are very slow to grow, but um, but you know that's why they have strict uh, regulations on them. But they are very tasty, and I uh, want to do a quick demonstration on how to how to clean these guys up. So I uh, want to get started here in just a second. I'll put these fish a little bit to the side. We'll start off with this small one right here. All right. First and foremost, we are going to do. I'm gonna flip this guy over. Grab, grab it by the gills. These fish have been bled out too, by the way. Uh, make sure you do that whenever you catch them. Uh, bleeding out all your fish helps preserve the catch and improve the, uh, the quality of the meat. All right, so we're gonna do like most other standard fish. We're gonna come up right behind the head. We're gonna take our fillet knife and cut right behind that pectoral fin and right behind the head at a 45 degree angle. just like that to make sure we get all the meat right here uh, behind the head right here next we are going to take our knife just use the point of our knife going about quarter inch or so and we're going to ride the back the dorsal all the way down like that all the way down to the tail as you can see they have a very nice wide large tail which helps them give that um, a lot of propulsion power, especially when you're uh, hooked into one. Uh, that's how they get you into those uh, into little caves and rocks that they uh, live in. All right, I'm gonna flip this guy over. Got a bee here that's wants a taste of <laughs> the blackfish as well. All right, I'm gonna flip this guy over. I'm gonna repeat the cuts on the other side. Cut it right here behind the head, behind that patrol fin, all the way down. Flip him over start off right here just put the tip of the knife in along the dorsal and I'm gonna ride that all the way down there we go now that we've done these pre-cuts this bee is annoying me now that we've done these pre-cuts we can actually come right here bring the fish up close to the uh, edge of the table lift up with the thumb and start cutting down further in going along that backbone of the fish and you can see it's got beautiful beautiful white meat wow this bee is really annoying sorry buddy you had it coming all right we're gonna cut down all the way to the spine. We're gonna go over the spine and then we're gonna come down. We're gonna continue the cut down until we release the tail. We're gonna come up to the rib cage. We're gonna cut through the pin bones. That are over the rib cage. There we go. 
and then we're gonna go right down those spines down the ribs following them down to continue removing the fillet and just cut right along here at the belly there we go nice beautiful all white meat look at that that's what you want okay we're gonna repeat on the other side and flip the fish over same thing bring it close to the edge and start cutting down deeper along that spine Come up to the backbone. We're gonna go over that backbone. Release the fillet off at the tail. I'm gonna come up to the uh, ribs. We're gonna cut over the ribs. Cut through those pin bones again. There we go. Right down the ribs. And then we're just gonna complete our cut right here, removing, removing it off the belly. second fillet okay we're not gonna waste the head we're actually gonna remove the head and we're gonna save that for uh, a delicious fish stock as well so well, so uh, don't throw the heads out you can also use part of the rack as well for that all right put this guy over here for now now we're gonna take our fillet we're gonna start off at the tail we're gonna move the uh, skin off the fillet cut down we're going to hold the fillet in place while pushing forward with the knife. Grab the skin. Beautiful all white meat. Okay. Only thing left to do right here is to remove the pin bones and I can feel them right along here. And we're going to cut on one side. And then we're gonna cut on the other and make that V cut. Wow, these bees are really annoying. Hmm. Okay. And we're gonna finish off with that V cut right here and remove those pin bones. And it's done. Here is our beautiful, we're just gonna cut away a little bit of this. Here is our beautiful nice blackfish fillet right there ready for the fryer all right let's do that with the other one all right let's do that with the other one same thing we're gonna start off at the tail Start cutting away. We're gonna hold on to the skin while we push forward with the knife. Okay. Now we have a nice, beautiful, boneless fillet right there. Same thing. Just gonna remove the pin bones right here. Cut on one side. Cut on the other. There we go. Trying to cut it as close as possible to those pin bones so we 
waste as little meat as possible. There we go. There's our second fillet. Nice, beautiful fillets, ready to be enjoyed. <laughs>